Everyone seems to think when you say macro photography that it means flowers or leaves or petals. That's not entirely true. There's a theory that everything in the world has already been photographed. So I like to work on the theory, let's push that. Macro, as far as photography concerned, would have to be the new frontier. If everything in the world's already been photographed, the question is, how can we photograph it differently? Everyone's taken a photo of someone's eyes. In fact, we actually say in photography, miss the eyes, miss the shot. But what happens if we come in really, really, really close? The human eye, fruit. Macro photography subjects are absolutely everywhere. If you're looking for something to do on the weekend and you want to get better at macro photography, practice makes perfect. One of the assignments I routinely set our students is a scavenger hunt. Start with the letter A, move to B. Work your way through the alphabet and then next week, challenge yourself to find something of different letters of the alphabet. Watch how quickly and amazingly your portfolio of macro photography grows. So remember, macro photography doesn't need to be limited just to flowers. Everything can be your subject. Music